Thank you, Madam Manager. <clears throat> Today, um, it's a real pleasure to present a new partnership that we have. But before I do that, each of us as elected officials, whenever we get this, we want to do one thing when we become elected officials, and that makes make our community better. And that can be done in a lot of different ways, and that can be done with economic development, public safety, uh, quality of life things. But we, uh, we, we went on a path a little while ago on how we can improve the public safety. And I have to take time to thank uh, the county manager, Ms. Cannon, uh, Dr. Keen from Federal Technical Community College, uh, Freddie Johnson from the, fire, uh, the Cumberland County Fire Chiefs Association. And why I want to thank them is both of them understood, all of them understood the need. And there is a need in all throughout Cumberland County and the state of North Carolina on well-trained public safety people. Um, it is really, um, this is one of the reasons I, I got into politics is to make the community better. And I think this is an initiative by Cumberland County to move in that path. Um, that being said, I couldn't have done it without the support of the other commissioners, um, of course, county staff, and the FTCC team. This is truly an exciting time to where we will become the footprint and set the standard of what right looks like in training for public safety and fire and emergency management people in Cumberland County. So without further ado, I'd like to call up the president of Federal Technical Community College, <clears throat> Dr. Larry King. Good morning, Madam Chair, members of the Commission, uh, the administrative staff. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, it is good to be back in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, for the last few days, I've been off in San Antonio, Texas, Charlotte, North Carolina, and I tell you, the longer you're away from this place, the, more, uh, the sweeter this place gets. So uh, we're glad to be back. Back in 2010, uh, we met with uh, Freddie Johnson and a number of other people to talk about the potential and the importance of emergency uh, services, fire and rescue, things of that nature at that time. We met again in 2015 in my conference room talking about the same thing, and yet we all suffered from a thing called lack of uh, funding and so forth. And uh, the truth of the matter is when we've had two storms, uh, 500 year storms in less than two years, it's something that tells us that we better even pay more attention to this. And so all the circumstances really came together to where we could do some good things together and to really make, uh, make good things happen. So, uh, compliment to Commissioner Keith, uh, who is responsible for the uh, fire rescue uh, area in Cumberland County, Chief Johnson and my staff, uh, who did so much to help put, uh, put this together. We saw the need. Uh, quick story is that as I went uh, uh, through this last storm, we had people, a sheriff's deputy, uh, and a volunteer fire person come in and uh, talk to us about the circumstances and seriousness of the program in my home with my family. Net result of all that is that uh, they were doing uh, yeoman's work in terms of the things that we needed to do. And so what we've done, I've seen it personally here recently, and more importantly, uh, we had talked about this in a number of different circumstances throughout the, uh, the state for that matter. The community colleges are the ones who provide the fire training and the emergency rescue training throughout the state of North Carolina, and we uh, take that very seriously. Uh, we do it quite well, and uh, working in concert with Fire Chiefs Association and others. So we conceptualized a program this would not have happened had it not been for the leadership in the county, uh, certainly with Amy Cannon, certainly with Jim McKeith, Jim Keith and uh, Freddie Johnson. And so they basically uh, said that they had access to some resources, uh, being almost 30 acres out there, and you know it was time for us to do something. As you recall, we had a state bond issue a few years ago. Uh, we have held back for, uh, purposefully uh, uh, some of that bond issue money. Uh, to work on this, and uh, not on this particular, but when we saw the opportunity come up and the land was available, literally what happened is that we went in and we worked closer and closer with the different uh, players that were at the table and have come up conceptually with this as well. It is literally a, a situation where when you look at the floor plan on this, I know that's hard to see back there, but the truth of the matter is it gives us more access, more training room, <coughs> more uh, 
specifics, and it really elevates what we are doing in Cumberland County to a much, much higher level. Now keep in mind, this is for everybody. It doesn't matter if it's the, uh, when Freddie Johnson was telling me, he's by the way, chief of the Chiefs Association and is instrumental in the state of North Carolina in terms of fire service training, it's literally a situation where he's taught me a lot over the last few years. And uh, Jimmy Keefe teaching and reminding me here that 80% of the people that serve uh, our volunteer fire, uh, fire uh, that come in and do this kind of work for us day in and day out. And so we wanted to, uh, a world-class place for them to uh, do the training that they do, not just the theoretical, but in addition to that, also the things that are the hands-on kinds of things that really separate the theoretical from the uh, application. So we're really excited about the possibilities here and doing the things that we do. So we worked with um, uh, Chief Johnson, Mr. Keefe, uh, my staff and others to come up with a plan that might uh, be something that uh, all of Cumberland County would be proud of. Now, uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to uh, show you conceptually what we've come up with. And Madam Chair, I'll talk a little bit as we go through this thing, but uh, the point being is that this is something that from the very beginning that all of us have wanted to be extraordinarily proud of in Cumberland County. Quite frankly, what I'm looking for and what Chief Johnson's looking for and what Mr. Keith is looking for is something that can serve, first of all, the needs of all of the uh, fire personnel and emergency management personnel in, uh, in Cumberland County. In addition, we want it to be so good that, frankly, we can attract other people from across the country uh, to come in here and take advantage of what we do. Our plan is to go and work with the people at the, uh, the National Fire Center uh, in uh, Emmitsburg. Uh, Maryland uh, and some other uh, leading institutions throughout the country to define not only what we're doing and to verify it, but at the same time take a look at what's coming next that we might have to deal with and so that we can always be at a much higher level doing the kind of work that it takes to really uh, make this happen. So this is the uh, conception of what we're doing here. We wanted to do this on the uh, foundation of the architecture that we use, uh, but it's almost 30 acres, 29.81 acres. We wanted something for Cumberland County to be proud of in terms of the way that we not only present ourselves to the people that come, uh, whether it's state, national, or regional, or local in nature, they need to be proud of what they do because they do so much for us. And uh, literally, we worked through this uh, to conceptualize this particular program. This is the classroom building here, uh, what I showed you the, uh, earlier in the schematic. And uh, you have uh, with this, now we're going into the live fire training areas and things of that nature. As um, you look at this, uh, this particular rendering and consider as we make a right turn here, on the right side there is a memorial to uh, firefighters and uh, individuals who uh, are the first line of defense for all kinds of circumstances and situations. We anticipate continuing that. You see where the flags are flying there. These are the apparatus bays on the right. Uh, apparatus is another word for truck for me. Uh, but uh, that's where we'll uh, work with any apparatus necessary to uh, save and serve uh, lives in our county. And then, of course, the entrance on this side to the uh, classroom facility. And we wanted to stay in the art classroom so that literally they could get anything that they needed to do uh, and have all of it self-contained in that particular area. Now, as we go back and you look over to the upper left-hand side, you'll see that uh, that looks like smoke coming out of that building to me. Uh, if you do these things and you do them well, uh, you've got to replicate real-life circumstances. So this is a fire tower here. You've got them practicing different things. You can talk theoretically. You can talk of it out of the book. But until you get out there and you apply it in by hand, day in, day out, then the quality of what you're doing is just not there. A number of different... Uh, uh, elements here that would be in that uh, that fire uh, protection area in terms of uh, what we do day in and day out. You see uh, portable and uh, you know different classrooms that are on the outside as well. You see an aircraft way out there. Uh, we do in fact uh, do aircraft uh, you know rescue and firefighting and that kind of thing. So uh, we will have one of those out there as well to work on as we go through uh, this this situation. Now, I hope as you see this that you're pleased with uh, the, not only the aesthetics, but at the same time, when you really look at how we planned what we do in terms of the uh, classrooms day in and day out, it is really something special. You know, it's something that uh, we work with uh, the county and certainly the, uh, the sheriff's office 
uh, to extend some of the things that we were thinking about originally. So our driving track will be on the sher uh, sheriff's driving uh, platform. And uh, we have a number of other things to include everything from uh, fast water rescue and things of that nature uh, down and, and search and rescue and all that kind of thing. It's down on another part of it that's not as uh, populated with uh, things as we have here. But as you have flown through here and you see over uh, to the uh, upper left hand side there, you see the sheriff's area over there where we'll be going to, to uh, travel. You have a little pond over there that'll help us with water retention and, uh, and that kind of thing. It's literally a situation that we believe that not only would the people of Cumberland County have a much uh, higher level of a uh, place to do their education, their training, but at the same time, it would give them an opportunity to attract, give us an opportunity to attract other people to our community. And quite frankly, we need to be seen as being one of the leaders, if not the leader uh, in the state of North Carolina, and frankly, regionally. And there are a lot of people who are already talking about having the capacity to do this uh, as one of the major destinations on the East Coast. If we do that, and we're pulling people out of Virginia, out of South Carolina, out of Georgia, Tennessee, and other places, well then, uh, we would have hit the mark to where we make our contribution uh, collectively to the economic growth and prosperity. So, it is, uh, you see, it's uh, Technical Community College, it's Cumberland County, and uh, Tracy, uh, with your uh, works, uh, and I caught him off guard there, sorry about that, but with his work and leading and doing so much in emergency preparedness, it is just literally something that we feel the county uh, could benefit from. Uh, but I want to tell you, it would not have happened ever. Uh, we're going to spend about $8 million, eight, actually almost $9 million on our part of this. Uh, the county's going to spend about $10 million last uh, I, I had on the calculations, uh, Amy. And the county, this would not have happened had it not been for Jimmy Keefe, coming to me, Amy Cannon, Freddie Johnson, and my staff working uh, together to make this happen. What I have to tell you, this is a big deal. This is a 19 million, at least a $19 million deal to create something here that a lot of people in the state say can't be created. We just created it. Now, it goes uh, for, I talked to my state president about this. He is excited about it and full support of this. Uh, it is something where we have talked to everybody over the years when this was just a pipe dream a long way down the road with maybe it would happen someday, but never, someday was never defined. And then you had people that were willing to come together, collaborate together, work together, and to make something happen. And Madam Chair, uh, you're to be commended on you and uh, the other county commissioners here. Certainly, uh, Mr. Keith, you were in the role of being the, well, what's your official title? It might still be, I don't know. Yeah, no, just, uh, I, was, I was fire commissioner at the time we were working. Fire on. commissioner. Yes, sir. He called me, said he's fire commissioner. I said, yes, sir, uh, let's talk about this. And But it would not happen. It would not happen if it were not for every single commissioner in this room. It would not have happened if it were not for every single staff member in this room. And it would not have happened were it not for the uh, excitement that uh, Freddie Johnson and others uh, have worked on together. You see, Freddie and I go back to 2010. And then again in 2015, thinking about this might be someday. Someday is here. It's here right now. So I couldn't be prouder uh, for County Cumberland and everybody involved. I couldn't be prouder of my, uh, my organization and the people that have come together. And I'm telling you, I think we have great things in store in the future if we just continue to move together, which I know we will. 80% of the firefighters, certainly in North Carolina, but in the nation are volunteer. I did not know that. And uh, when you really stop and consider that, they deserve the best of the best, and that's what we're trying to provide for them. There are a few places in North Carolina, and Madam Chair, with your permission, if I might ask Freddie Johnson to come up to the podium with me, uh, I'll tell you what, he has been instrumental in, uh, in doing the things that, that um, he keeps us on the straight and narrow. He's the uh, uh, chief of the fire chiefs uh, in Cumberland County, but he is instrumental as well in the national and the, the state fire service. Uh, he does, uh, is engaged heavily in all the work that goes on there in the state of North Carolina. And he's been a great guy to me as well. So I appreciate Freddie. I'll be real quick. I think what's in order is a big thank you on behalf of the entire Cumberland County Fire and Rescue and EMS Services uh, for making this uh, possible for all of us. Uh, this facility, once built, will provide us with classrooms, burn buildings, 
from Fine Space, French Rescue, I mean the entire array of training props that we need to train our firefighters so they can respond and have emergency for our citizens when they call. I told last week, I think I told the uh, your board of trustees and the commissioners were there, when our citizens call not down 911, they expect two things, they ask response and train first responders to handle that emergency, and that's important. This training facility is going to provide that, not only to the first responders in Common County, but region. And Dr. King, thank you again for your leadership on this. I saw the passion when we first talked about this. And Amy, Mr. Cave, and all the commissioners, thank you, thank you very much. Tracy, you too, you've been there all the way with us. And uh, uh, I can tell you, all of our chiefs are excited about it.